so now we've got our out UV we've got the outline here uh, and we're I'm now in Photoshop um, I hope you can see that all right and the next thing we want to do is to um, find ourselves a serial box so I'm going to go to Google download it pop it in our source images folder and then open it up well actually we're going to download it and then open it up in Photoshop first that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in serial box texture whoops um, Google will probably auto auto correct that um, uh, so let's go to images and then we're just going to find um, a serial box that um, that that matches our template the one that we've created um, there we go so there that's the first one is gonna fit so let's download that we could also go for the Rice Krispies it doesn't really matter you can go for any of these as long as it fits the um, the box that we've created in our in our UV so I'm gonna go to the Cheerios one uh, that looks like that's a turbo squid and then download it to my desktop so right click save Im image as serial box um, and then download that to my desktop so there we go I've opened up the box now I can see it's actually got a it's not perfect because it's got some um, stock images on it um, so it's possible that I'd need to log into turbo squid and download um, correct version but it doesn't really matter what we've got is um, a cereal box that more or less matches the um, uh, the thing that we've created more or less anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a layer in Photoshop that's this little button down here drop it underneath so layer one is now underneath layer zero and go um, edit you can't see that it's off the screen but I'm going to edit fill, edit fill, and then I'm going to go to uh, color, and I want a green. I'm going to go to, I'm going to fill that with green. There we go. So now we can see what we've got to fill with our cereal box. So I'm going to go ahead and um, zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to go. Um, I'm just going to. There we go. And I'm going to then drag do a drag select around the top of the box there we go something like that and go image crop like that control a control C and then paste it in here there we go so I'm just gonna pop that in here there's our box and I can go edit scale edit transform scale and pull that down to make sure that it fits the size it's not quite fitting so I can go edit transform distort and then just move it over a bit so that it fits the space so now you can see we're starting to go back to we're starting to fill up the um, UV map with the Cheerios box so back in the serial box JPEG I'm gonna go edit undo edit undo crop there we go and now I want to select the other bit Feel free to fast forward if you know if you kind of get the picture here, because um, this is going to be quite repetitive. We're just going to select all of these bits: image, crop, control A, control C, back on the out UV, um, and control V to paste. And I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to go edit, transform, scale. I'll move that there. Then I'm going to go to the move tool. I'm just going to nudge that over so that it's centered like that then I'm going to go edit transform distort and just pull that in there pull that over there there we go so now it fits the space then go back to the serial box edit undo edit undo and now I've just got to go through all of these bits of the box in turn it's a bit boring this bit it doesn't actually take that long but feels repetitive in the video image crop control a control C so as I say if you've got the hang of this you can fast forward through this bit of the tutorial and you're probably not gonna miss very much then we go edit transform scale just move that down there looks like we're lucky here it's just about the right size back to the move tool back to the serial box edit undo edit undo um, we've got four more to do here. Here's the Cheerios image crop, control A, control C, control V. There we 
go and edit transform scale there we go is that right we've got that more or less right looks like it's slightly too short there edit transform distort Uh, one of the good things about this exercise is, you know, cereal boxes are pretty rough and ready anyway, so it's quite a forgiving exercise. Edit, undo. You know, if we if we make some mistakes, it's not really going to make that much difference. And I kind of just want to show you the basics of this in a little bit of a hurry. Um, so, add image, crop, Control A, Control C, out UV. And you can do this with any cereal box, right? You don't, it doesn't have to be Cheerios, it can be anything. And then we're going to go edit, transform, scale. There we go. And we're almost done. Back to the cereal box, edit, undo, edit, undo. And then we've got one last bit of box to get. That's the kind of advertising bit on the side okay image crop control a control c pop it back over here back to the move tool drag it over there it's all it looks like we're we're, we're the, about the right size so i'm just going to pull that down there and then go right now that we've done that i can now save that well, i'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to go um, serial box texture map. I'm not going to save it as a TIFF. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm just going to save that to my desktop. And then I'm going to drag that into my source images folder. Save that maximum file size. So then I'm going to minimize Photoshop. And there we go. So in, I've actually already got one in there that I made earlier. So I'm going to call that Serial Texture Map 1 and here we go Serial Box Texture Map 2 I don't actually look exactly the same. Oh no, no sorry, that's the one we just downloaded so I'm delete that. Um, serial Texture Map so that's the one we just made Serial Texture Map Box 2. Okay so now it's a, so now I can close that out. That's our Source Images folder um, uh, sorry, just a bit of nonsense there you don't need to know about. And now back to Maya. And so let's just minimize the UV editor. So now I need to apply a, I'll just right click and go back to object mode. So now I need to apply a material to the box. Now by default, Maya gives you a material. It gives you, um, if I go to uh, material, right click material attributes, you actually can't see that because it's off the screen. But if I go right click material attributes, you'll see it'll pull up in the um, attribute editor. If I scroll over here, uh, there we go, it'll go to Lambert 1, which is the Lambert. Lambert was a Swiss mathematician back in the 18th century. Um, it's assigned a Lambert, uh, but the default Lambert, which is Lambert 1, to the object. But we want to create a new Lambert, so I'm going to go right click. Assign new material. Apologies, this is off the screen, so you can't see it. But assign new material, Lambert, and I'm going to call this Serial Box Lambert. And then I'm going to go and click on this. You'll see there's a color tab down here, and there's a little checker box, which isn't particularly intuitive. But anyway, you click on that, and then you get a file because we're looking for a file-based texture, not an automatic one. And then there's this little folder here that used to be yellow in older versions of Maya, so you could see it easily, but they've made it not yellow anymore. You click that, and there, there we go, there's our serial texture map. And if I open that up, I should get the texture map automatically applied to the box. Now you can't see anything yet until I press 6 on my keyboard, and then it should automatically apply. It's actually upside down. Um, but if I go to, um, if I rotate it 180 degrees in Y, uh, I meant in Z, there we go, now we've got a cereal box.
Um, and we don't need to do a whole lot more to it. We can do a little bit of modeling if we if we apply a bit of a bevel to it. If we go mesh tools or is it uh, edit mesh? There we go, edit mesh bevel. And um, that will give us a little bit of bevel. Well, that looked a bit weird. So let's just go edit mesh bevel. Let's go edit reset settings. Edit reset settings and bevel. Let's see. Oh, that's rather strange. Not quite sure why that's going that way. Maybe we won't bevel it. Okay, so I think the reason that um, Maya's not liking that is because I, I um, spun it round. So I'm just going to go um, mesh, um, uh, wait, modify freeze transformations. Um, so if I go modify freeze transformations and then go back to my bevel, uh, wait, there we go, edit mesh bevel, we should have better luck. There we go. Um, and now I can, you know, I can uh, change the uh, segments down there. I can change the fraction, you know, mess around with it. And if I zoom in on this, you'll see that I've now got a much softer edge, much more like a real cereal box um, than I had before. All right, so there we go. That is some very simple modeling. Modeling doesn't get much simpler than that and some very simple texturing. Just to explain, you know, how these simple things can be done in Maya and gradually you build up your expertise and you get more confident with this stuff. Uh, and before you know it, you become an expert.